My name is Wolfgang Neumann. I'm the CEO of Resident Hotel Group, which is a listed company on the Stockholm Stock Exchange. I'm a hotelier through and through. I've been 30 years in the hotel industry. Started my career in New York in the US, uh, following a hotel school in Austria, my native country, and then worked my way through the ranks, uh, food and beverage, hotel general manager, corporate career and human resources, vice president, senior vice president, and worked 24 years with Hilton and joined uh, Residor 18 months ago. The Residor Hotel Group is one of the fastest uh, growing hotel company in the world. Uh, we have also a partnership with Carlson, a US private company. This is a global partnership which we launched in January, uh, which uh, encompasses 1,300 hotels in 80 countries. As a hotel company, we either manage uh, hotels uh, under leases or management contracts. We do this uh, currently in 320 hotels, 100 in the pipeline, are active in Europe, Africa, Middle East, um, and um, we, um, from our experience, um, have customers which are either leisure or business customers. Um, we have a great uh, culture, very innovative, very entrepreneurial, um, and we are uh, known for our service culture, which is called Yes I Can. For us, the customer is, is the centerpiece. Uh, we always think about the customer, how can we best provide personal and service and, and memorable services to the customer. So we are very much on the look out for how the customer's expectations and needs are changing. Um, as an example, in our mid-market brand in Park Inn by Redison, we have done extensive research and tried to understand what is actually happening to the next generation of customers, Generation X and Generation Y, and want to really understand better how we can meet their expectations. So we are moving much more to a personalized experience, a flexible experience. Online, the information technology is very much center point. We want to build a personal relationship with the customer. Uh, internet plays a key role. Loyalty is a key role. You do this over the internet. We do this via our loyalty program. Um, and in general, information technology, I think, plays a key part. It amazes me that we are still uh, the only hotel company in the upper upscale with Redison Blue who provides free internet to our customers. Customers want an experience in our hotels. They don't just want to stay in a the hotel, they want to live in a hotel. So we need to respond to that expectation. Um, the hotel industry becomes more and more also a niche market. So for example, Missione, our lifestyle brand, is very much geared towards the more younger, hipper uh, customer. Um, I mentioned next generation in our mid-market hotel where customers want a more personal experience. Um, information technology is key. Uh, in general, the personal experience is critical. There's, first of all, in the hotel industry, there's a lot of consolidation going on, without a doubt. Uh, hotel companies uh, consolidate more and more. We are one of the top 10 hotel companies in the world with our partnership in Carlson Residor. Uh, another trend is towards uh, social media and information technology very clearly. Another trend is towards personalization, um, critically for the customers today. Um, customers are becoming more demanding, I think. Uh, as they travel more and more, they know more and more what to expect of a hotel. Obviously today the economic environment is a challenge. Uh, no doubt we have the challenge uh, in the uh, whole arena of, of Middle East, uh, when you look at Syria, when you look at the whole safety, security, terrorism, you look at what happened recently in the US with a uh, natural disaster of Fukushima in Japan, uh, terrorism remains a, a key threat. But I think in general a key threat for us as an industry and for us in the world is the whole climate change. We need to be more responsible, we need to embrace this, both as individuals but also as companies. I think, particularly proud of, I think we are uh, recognized now for uh, three years in a row of one of the most ethical companies. Uh, we have received this uh, recognition from Ethisred, one of the US think tanks, and recognizes our whole ambitious program in this domain. But I'm also very proud of and pleased with our initiative of launching ThinkPlanet in the beginning of this year 
um, where we really want to make a difference in today's environment. And we are seeing early results. Uh, we see how people embrace it. We see how people want to make a difference. I think we can play a role uh, and ultimately contribute to a more sustainable future. Embrace the industry. It's a fun industry. It's a, it's a service and people industry which provides enormous opportunities. It's uh, international, it's multicultural. It provides uh, a great opportunity for growing as an individual in a very dynamic industry. Tourism is a growth industry. 9% um, of GDP is coming out of tourism, so it's an industry which provides a lot of opportunities. And I think individuals starting up this, in this industry have a lot of opportunities. Um, but at the same time, I think being here on World Responsible Day, uh, we want to also pass the message that very early from the career, people in the industry should embrace sustainability very early on and make a difference regardless what level in the organization they are. Because you can do this as a CEO, but you can also do this as a waiter or as a cook to be fully committed to that. My favorite destination being Austria are the mountains. I love going skiing, I love being in nature. And that's why also for me, preserving this nature is so important. You look at the mountains of Austria, you look at the glaciers worldwide, uh, they are threatened. And I think that's where we need to make sure that we protect this wonderful environment for future generations.